The prisoners' escape and the ensuing manhunt are of great concern to Israeli security forces, not only within the walls of Israel's high security prisons, but beyond. Officials have expressed concern that these events could spill over to spell a wider escalation in the West Bank and in Gaza as well. Here to discuss these possibilities is Ita Malmarcus, founder and director of Palestinian Media Watch. Welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. So, first of all, what can you tell us about the reactions to the prisoner escape that we're seeing coming out of the West Bank and also out of Gaza? Well, the, the most important reaction is that the Palestinian Authority uh, is giving its complete support uh, to the to the terrorists uh, who escaped. They're they're justifying it. They're they're literally telling their people to offer aid. There was uh, there were two editorials in the official Palestinian newspaper, which literally said, "If you see them, give them food, give them transportation, uh, do it quietly, don't talk about it." Uh, it makes a mockery of the whole concept of security cooperation that the Palestinian Authority has with Israel. When here you have the official newspaper literally, literally telling everybody to help these people to uh, to escape. Another very significant response was from Fatah spokesman Osama Kawasma. Um, and he said, of course, first of all, quote, uh, Fatah's pride on behalf of our heroic prisoners. Uh, but then he said they have the full right to take their freedom by force because they are freedom fighters and prison is a place, a place for criminals. Now, why is this so important and what is he saying? The Palestinian Authority ideology is that prisoners, uh, is that Palestinians have a right to kill Israelis uh, at any time, in any place. Uh, it's only a function of tactic. And therefore, every single prisoner in jail is a freedom fighter. Every single prisoner uh, should not be in prison. Uh, literally, they say that killing Israelis is justified. They claim it's even justified by international law. Uh, and this is a message that the kids get when they're from the youngest children uh, through adults. And that's what's being said here. These people had a right to escape because they shouldn't have been in jail in the first place, even though they murdered civilians, because murdering civilians is something Palestinians have a right to do. Now, switching gears for a second, I mean, we've already seen protests in the West Bank and in East Jerusalem over the prisoner escapes. But so far, they have been rather limited. I mean, should we expect to see this grow, or is it under control at the moment, do you think? The, the Palestinian Authority leadership uh, has called for violence a number of times in, uh, I would say, the last year or two. Uh, they called for violence if we're going back to when Israel opened up the embassy in Jerusalem, and they didn't succeed in bringing out the people. Uh, there were a number of other times they called for violence and didn't succeed. Um, and there were other times when they did succeed. The, the people don't trust their leadership anymore. So the fact that the Palestinian Authority leadership is calling for violence uh, is not going to get the people out into the street. However, uh, if they're arrested, I think we might see a few days of, uh, of heightened violence, nothing major. If some of them are killed while they're being arrested, it could even get worse. There's no doubt. I'd say one more thing about what we've seen in the past when the Palestinians start violence what usually turns it into small, from go, trans, transmissions, from small violence to uh, outrageous terror, which lasts for a while, is a successful terror attack. When the violence starts, if they succeed in killing Israelis, uh, that's going to be a trigger for a lot of copycat terror, and let's hope that doesn't happen. Itamar, uh, speaking of terror and speaking of uh, incitement in the West Bank, we're, gonna, we're seeing a lot of reports in Janine, pretty much ever since Zacharias Beatty, uh, took refuge there. He, they're saying that they're going to defend him no matter what, and we're expecting a lot of violence. And even the Janine, uh, Janine governor also stated that if Israel will go in, consequences will be dire. What, what, are, we, what are you seeing from that angle? Well, um, the, there's no doubt that the, uh, the Palestinian population, thanks to the Palestinian Authority has a tremendous amount of weapons. You've got the Al-Aqsa Martyr Brigades there. Uh, you've got the Hamas in Jenin as well. Uh, you've got a lot of people with weapons. And if Israel finds out that uh, he's in Jin that terrorists are in Jenin and decides to go in, it could be it could be a real battle. Um, and uh, let's hope we can catch them before they go in. It definitely could be a, a proper little minor uh, little minor war for a couple of days. All righty, Tamal Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. You're very welcome. Bye.